Oh, good day everyone. We're here for another episode of the DVD show. So for today, we have a former Ateneo Blue Eagle and a current point guard and a star player of the Terra Firma Jeep in the PBA. And now he's currently playing in the uh, ongoing PBA Philippine Cup. So I'll now welcome here to the DVD show, Wami Pyongson. Thank you for joining me here on my podcast. Hello, Diego. Um, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. Um, I always look forward to, you know, uh, um, telling my story and hopefully inspire uh, your listeners. Yeah, I, as a host, then, eh, and I like also listening to a lot of the stories of all the athletes because, of course, it's different. And there are some that I could apply in my own life. So I'm excited as well. So to start things off, I want to ask, how have you been doing? I mean, as a fan, I know that I watch you on TV now that you're playing in the PBA. So what keeps you busy now with the PBA or, or are there other things you're also doing? Yeah, um, ever since college, I've, I, it's always been the same for me. Uh, it's all mostly basketball, family, mm. and girlfriend. Yun lang naman. But then uh, recently during the pandemic, I guess it's, uh, it's the pandemic when uh, I've, I've, I've gotten into riding motorcycles. So oh, okay. I guess that's one way to keep me uh, busy and stress-free from, you know, everything that's going on. Mm. Bakit yung mga PBA players sa tingin mo, yun nga, they, yung interest level na tumata sa motorcycle. So like, kahit yung mga retired players, nakikita yeah. ko sa IG, nagpo-post sila sa YouTube. Uh, I guess for me, it's medyo similar to basketball. Eh. Uh, ako, mm. that's my personal opinion. Kasi when you ride the motorcycle as much as possible, you wanna be focused. You wanna be focused mm. on the road. Similar to basketball, when you're playing, you wanna be focused as much as possible. You wanna play through your instinct. Similar with riding a motorcycle as well. Because with, but but then with riding a motorcycle, it has more risk. Once you make a yeah. mistake, <laughs> alam mo, like it could endanger you or endanger yeah. your career, your life actually. So, so I guess for me, riding a motorcycle, it it in a way it keeps me away from stress, from anxieties. Because when you're on the road, you really have to focus on the road. Unlike Unlike when you're in a car, you could use your phone, you could be on social mm-hmm. media, but with, but when you're when you're in two wheels, you can't do mm-hmm. that because yeah. it's high risk of getting into an accident. Mm-hmm. Ikaw ba pag nagmomotor ka, ikaw lang magisa or may group ka rin? No, actually, one of the reasons why I, I enjoy riding the motorcycle is because um, I get to ride it with, I get to ride it with my my family. My brother, ah, okay. my uncle, my close friend, like si Nico Salva. So yeah. um, I I enjoy it a lot because because I get to do it with the people I'm I'm really close to. Ah, okay, so nagiging bonding din siya. Kasi, yeah, yun, yeah, bonding kayo, din kasi siya. Eh. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's really enjoyable that you found new ways to enjoy it. Kasi nung pandemic, nasa bahay lang tayo. And yeah, you... maraming anxieties kasi daming, daming mong naisip because there is you really can't do anything eh. so that's yeah. that's i guess um ma uh, it's good na rin na i was introduced to riding a motorcycle yeah that's really interesting to hear from you but yeah going to the main topic of the uh basketball as you mentioned yung buhay mo ever since college na basketball lang talaga so i wanted to ask about the team since yeah yung alam mo naman yung team yo para like, criticize palagi na yun yeah, hindi yeah. na nakakakuha ng wins so Yeah. You know, you I'm pretty sure you hear that in social media and then mm-hmm. you're walking around like siguro the mall or through all your other friends like they make cuento to you. So, ikaw yung team mo naman from your perspective and your uh key cog of the team. How has it been like despite yeah, the record? Like is there some like optimism, positive stuff that you could see? Yeah, of course, uh, it's very difficult because for example, when when we were in the bubble Um, and then leading up to last conference, we were we were there. We were competing. We mm. were um, like uh, we we wouldn't be get beaten easily. We'd always be yeah. be there till till the end. And then now we we've lost a lot of uh, key players like Ed, um, Isaac Go. So mm. what you know what they bring what they bring to the team. No no one player can can actually do it. So it, it yeah. has to be collective uh, collectively. Uh, it's been tough, but then our our um, samahan, as you call it, as you may, as you can call it, um, it's it's pretty strong. Because we've we bonded really well uh, when we were in the bubble. 
Mm-hmm. So, at least, you know, the positive thing about it is the friendship is still there. You know what I mean? Hindi, mm-hmm. hindi kami, we, hindi kami, hindi kami na, uh, we, we don't go our separate ways still. As much as possible, uh, we still trust each other, um, um, rely on each other. Kasi nga, we've really uh, bonded really well in the bubble. So, I guess that's mm-hmm. that's one positive we we can we can get from from what's happening right now. Yeah, yung bubble nga there was one a full bubble. Yung isa tinray nila maglaro dito pero nagka-surge ulit tapos nag-bubble na lang ulit yeah, sa pampanga na parang semi-bubble. Yeah. So ano yung mga ginagawa ng team niyo like nagpi-PlayStation ba kayo, nagka-cards ba kayo? like no, what's your actually, activities? Actually puro kalokohan na. <laughs> ah, okay. There are things I can't even um Say. <laughs> Say right now kasi yeah. eh, medyo baka, baka ma, ma, mas lalo kami makriticize. <laughs> uh-huh. it's, it's mostly bonding. Kwentuhan, nag, mm. nag-iinom. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we, we'll, we prank each other. Yung mga ganun, ganun, ganun na bonding mm-hmm. moments namin na uh, I think will, will last a lifetime and it goes, goes beyond basketball as well. Yeah, yun nga yun, typical uh, enjoyment ng mga guys for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you can't explain to others what you did because yeah, they might misinterpret it. But if you're yeah, in the moment, exactly. you'll actually exactly. understand exactly. why it's fun. So yeah, I guess exactly. that's what you guys have been doing. Pero ikaw, as one of the leaders of the squad, and ako, like an avid fan of the PBA, is it difficult for you din na yung mga players niya nag iba every conference? Like, meron yan, si Isaac. Like, he was on the team before, pero gilas. And then now lang siya pumasok. And then like, yeah. Ed, you mentioned, bago lang siya, sila Alex Kabagnot. Is it hard for you as you've been there for several years na din? Yeah, it, honestly, it, it's hard, obviously. Kasi, like I said, we've already built chemistry like with uh, Matt Rosser, uh, mm-hmm. Rashawn McCartney, and then all of yeah. a sudden you take them take them away from the equation you 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 again you have to restart again build build new relationship with new players you know but at the end of the day it's it's uh part of the game it's it's business and you re- i can't me personally i can't really complain about it it's mm-hmm. i love i love what i'm doing and i i won't i won't say anything bad or say anything yeah. negative about it at the end of the day i'm still blessed doing what i'm doing I I shouldn't even be in the PBA, de ba? Because mm-hmm. I I I was already cut from my first uh pro team and then getting back here. So I'm 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 blessed. I'm very fortunate, and I don't take anything for granted. You know, whatever challenges may come, like right now, just learn from it. I I just try to learn from it and never get discouraged because I've I've been through worse. Yeah, I guess the prior experiences nga helped you a lot in uh, helping you become stronger mentally yes. than and physically today like what you are now as one of the great point guards of the, in the league pero ayun i wanted to ask as you mentioned the pandemic kanina when you were talking about the motorcycles and me as a fan i realized na nung pagbalik nga nung uh, PBA after the peak nung covid nung nakalaro kayo sa Pampanga yung game ren parang umangat nag ascend ka to you know a top point guard and before like if you talk about top point guards like They wouldn't even talk about you. Pero noon you were averaging double-digit points, and I think several threes a game, maybe around yeah. two to three, de ba? Diamond three points, may assists karen and all those. That's no first bubble. Ni ba yung in upset nyo yung San Miguel or in Hinebra or is that the uh, second? I think that one? that was the second bubble. Eh, that was ah, the okay. um, ano, Pampanga. Ay, yeah, actually, yeah. Parehas so, pala Pampanga. Yeah, pareh yung Pampanga. The, the, the latest bubble, the second bubble. Yeah, yeah. So yun yun nga yung personal ah. Uh, Rapper to more Arsenal. Like, ano yung ginawa mo nung pandemic kaya naging lethal uh, threat ka na rin nung bubble? Actually, uh, I didn't do anything special kasi I didn't have access to any basketball court. It was, I just had to buy uh, equipment, gym equipment mm-hmm. uh, for me to to be in shape, for me to be able to uh, at least uh, be game ready. Pero mm-hmm. in terms of shooting the ball, I really didn't have access to anything. But wow. I had the ball, so what I was just do, what I was doing was was basic drills, dribbling, um, running, running for 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 um, conditioning. But then basket, in, but in terms of shooting the ball, wala. So I guess when it uh in, when it came to the bubble, I just had to trust myself, uh, mm. trust my instinct, because 
like I've been working on my shots ever since naman the pandemic. So so I didn't really have to change anything in terms of my shot meca- shot mechanics. And also obviously I have to give credit to to the coaching staff and my teammates. They mm. were the ones really who set me up. Uh in terms of my coach, they were the ones really um uh, calling plays for me. Um calling down picks for me, staggered screens, floppies, uh, handoffs. And mm. I also want to mention my teammates for being so unselfish kasi wala walang inggitan at the time eh. Talagang hinanap nila ako. Mm-hmm. Um Cause, cause at the time, wala naman talagang star players sa team namin. Eh. We, um, uh, we traded CJ Perez. Yeah. Josh got injured. Yeah. Uh, Roosevelt Adams was injured as well during that time. Mm-hmm. So, so they, you know, um, they really looked for me exclusively, and I have to give credit to the coaching staff and, and and my teammates. Yeah. So yun nga, you mentioned Dren kanina na you felt na. Y- you were out of the league na nung, I think 2017 yung before ka nag Anlex diba yung yeah. Blackwater didn't get you and you mentioned also that you yun nga yung confidence now is better like the coaches and your teammates give you confidence so ikaw tumataas din yung numbers mo and your performance mo so how would you tell the people na siguro hindi kahit hindi sports like you know ng pag-asa or they feel yeah. like di sila binibigyan ng importance sa kanilang role or job and to keep uh persevering lang and now look they gave you the confidence and the trust that you wanted from the start oh i guess the advice i could give is have a so have a great support system have your mm-hmm. have your family and friends those you can trust <clears throat> always beside you because they will always they will always tell it to you straight up eh? whether you're doing good or bad just like just like with my mom she would she would uh tell it me tell it to me straight no no BS, sorry for for lack of better term. Okay lang, okay lang. Hey, Wami, ano, um, sayang naman yung opportunity na binibigay sa'yo. You're, you're mm-hmm. not showing energy, wala kang gana. So, at, at least, I get that criticism already from my mom. Like, I don't have to hear it from other people. Because if my mom says it, then it, it must be true, diba? My mom mm-hmm. won't just say that naman to, for, for the sake of saying it. Mm-hmm. So, I guess, I guess to have a better, good support system because they my family and my friends my 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 close friends they believed in me when when i didn't even believe in myself they they mm-hmm. would always encourage me always all the time no ma- no matter whether i'm good or bad and also when i'm doing well when i'm on top they would be the one bringing me down humbling me telling me oh wami medyo ano ka na you're forgetting uh forgetting mm-hmm. who you are where you came from so you know i so appreciate those people who who always tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. Because at the end of the day, they 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 will they will always be the one there for you when when you're nobody. Yeah, that, I agree with that for sure. And yun nga, since you finally found your footing on the league, and yun, yun key na lang is sustaining it for the long term yeah. to have like still a position and a role in any team in the PBA. So ikaw naman, since you realize na ah, worth it palato, like even before na hihirapan ako tanggapin yung sinasabi nila. So, ikaw mismo, like, sinasabi mo na rin ba sa friends mo na iba o nah- nahihirapan or sa teammates mo na, oh, hindi, that is what my support system taught me and you should also apply it. Was, do you also have that mindset? Yeah. Uh, ako, for me, obviously, um, syempre, there are times naman na uh, you, you, you would know personally what you should listen to and not to listen to. It. Kasi mm. they don't also know what's going on uh, within the team. Kasi mm. what they see is Basically, what they see on the court, but they don't they don't yeah. see what what's happening in practice. So, ako rin, mm-hmm. I have to I have to learn and understand uh, and apply what what's right and wrong, diba? Because I mean, at the end at the end of the day, you know yourself more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And sana nga, you know the people could learn from you and get inspired with yeah. your experience now in Terra Firma and. Yeah, watch how you've been playing and, you know, yeah. apply it also I'll, I'll, to their own. Yeah, go, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. No, go also, ahead. I, like, for me, I appreciate guys like uh, Anton Asistio, um, guys Ayun. like Jolo Mendoza. Because of college, they, they, I wouldn't say they're taken for granted, but they don't really get the same recognition as, as some of their teammates. And yet, and yet you see them, you see them, you see Anton right now uh, in the league yeah, doing galing. so well. Yeah. Uh, 
And ako, mm-hmm. I wasn't even surprised because I knew I knew Anton Anton Asisio could 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 deliver because I know mm-hmm. how much of a quality player he is. It's just a matter of sorry, may airplane. But okay, it's okay. Sorry. Go ahead. So anyway, uh, with Anton, like I I I can relate to them. Eh. Uh, in college, I wasn't I was barely even being being talked mm-hmm. about. I wasn't even uh, there. No place for me. I was barely even at the start of my college career. I was barely even laying towards the end. Lang talaga ako naglaro. So so I can relate to guys like Anton and Jolo. That's why I'm very close to them as much as possible. I try to work out with them and and uh-huh. give them give them uh, my advice. Because mm-hmm. like for me, it's good na that you're going through it right now. Yeah. Instead of instead of going through it uh, in the PBA because in the PBA talagang um, it'll be by yourself it's everyone has their own families already everyone's trying to mm. feed their family so it's not like college na it'll be spoon fed mm. you know what I mean that's why mm-hmm. that's why I tell them what you're going through right now you'll appreciate it when you when you, yeah. get, to, when you get to the PBA but if not in the PBA wherever wherever Mm-mm. yeah I agree with that and talagang yun nga, mga younger generations ng Ateneo, for sure, natututo yun sa yun. Yeah. Kahit di nila sabihin, for sure, na, na-apply rin nila yun sa ibang mga taon. Nakakatulong yun in terms of them yeah, sharing yeah. your story or how you impart what the words that you tell them. So, yeah, I'm, for sure, they're thankful for that. Pero yun nga, I watched you guys nung first and second bubble. And sabi ko, upa, kit na yung terra firma, wala na yung mga bashers niyo sa social media na, <laughs> alam mo na, I don't wanna repeat like what they say. Yeah. I just read it and it's kind of weird nga since I'm just, I mean, I'm for Hinebra, pero I don't like rin na ini-insult yung ibang teams. Cause, I mean, you're just doing your job and you're playing, yeah. you have no control <laughs> That's true. For, for that. So, <laughs> yeah, why do you think it's tough also at the PBA level since ito yung highest league sa Philippines na yun, is it yung success then? How would you explain it to the fans that really don't understand it? Um, because there are a lot of good players who aren't even in the PBA. So every day, may chance na mawala, mawala ka sa lineup, may chance na na mawala yung role mo sa team. Kasi, at, mm-hmm. kasi I feel like everyone is on the same level when you get to the PBA. It's just a matter of getting the right opportunity. I, I guess I'm the perfect example. I got the right opportunity. So I thank Coach mm-hmm. John for giving that to me. Um, um, I guess it's a matter of what what separates what separates uh, those great players is is their mental toughness. I guess because in terms mm. of skill, you would, I don't think you wouldn't you wouldn't make it to the PBA if you weren't good, naman. Eh. Mm. So nagkakatalo na talaga sa mental toughness, and it's mm. very difficult because there are times talaga na na like paminsan ayaw mo talaga maglaro eh, mm. like because I don't know. It's just human nature, I guess. There yeah. are people, de ba? Similar to to regular employees na who don't want to go to work. Kami rin, we feel we feel that, but we we have to fight it and go through it. Because kami we're magnified, eh. Because mm. you we you get to see our um, actions live on TV. So, yeah. So if we konting malilang basagan, but you don't mm. know what the player is going through. Uh, off the court, yeah. That's why. That's why. Ako rin, for me, when I see when I see um, people on Twitter bashing on NBA players, saying, Ayaw. for example, let's just say Russell Westbrook. Na Russell, mm-hmm. Russell Westbrook, ganyan gato, can't shoot, mm-hmm. can't lead the team. But to be honest, like, are you like you're not you're not we're not even half as good as Russell Westbrook, and here yeah. we are uh, bashing Russell Westbrook. Yeah. yeah, sometimes I cringe on that, and there are times, talaga. Um, sorry to say, I have to block people. Mm. Like for me, it's a it's it's a joke that you're you're bashing a great a, a great NBA player, na and and up uh, and the basher would just play Sunday ball. Parang sometimes mm. I don't get it. Yeah, so, yeah. So you know, um, well, I guess fans also have to understand that we we also are human beings. We go through. The same problems as you guys are uh, mentally, physically, and but you know I guess it is what it is. At the end of the day, um, ako, ako personally, I just have to appreciate what I'm doing because there are a lot of 
Filipino people who dream to become a PBA player. And ako, I don't want to take anything for granted. But there are times talaga na mentally, I'm out of it. Yeah. Mahirap talaga yung mga taong ganun kasi yun nga, di ba, they make the username some random whatever para hindi yeah, mo malaman yeah. na sila yun. Pero pag karap mo na sila, they won't say yeah, it naman to you. They won't even say oh. anything. So, sometimes siguro magpapapicture pa sa'yo eh. So, uh, di ba? Yeah. yeah. Yun nga, eh, nakakatawa eh. Like before si Kiefer ba yun yung may nagpapicture tapos may needle finger habang nagpapapicture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, nga, oh, nga. I, 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 I recall that. I, I recall that. Yeah. Oh, I think diba, it's a girl. Mga... Eh, diba? Girl ata. Yeah, yeah. girl. Yeah. That's Meron why mga... I, also I, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. Ako, that's why I appreciate Kiefer. Kasi yeah. kahit sa sobrang daming bashers niya, pinagtatawan lang, lang niya. Yeah. But that, yeah. You see his mental toughness in, mm. in terms of the in terms of social media, how he's treated in social media. But then when you play against Kiefer, you don't know how how good he is actually. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Like Nung, I think ngayon, nung pinaka-recent Gilas games, diba, tinambakan tayo ng New Zealand. Yeah, like, yeah. Siya na naman yung kinikriticize na, oh, oh kala ko, ikaw yung next Jason yeah. Castro and L.A. Tenorio. Si, tapos, makikita mo si Kiefer, wala, pinagtatawa na yeah. niya. So. Oo. Oh. Yeah, that's why. And the uh, people also, they, um, what do you call this, they tweet also or, or they just post because they know they'll get the clicks or they'll go viral. Pero yeah. nga, they won't, I don't know why they even have time to do that. Like, why yeah. don't, do you something exactly. productive? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and you also. Uh, I also wanted to tackle, like I mentioned it, kanina, yung control what you can control. Like me, also, like there are a lot of stuff in the world that you know I'm sad about or I don't agree with. Pero I can't control it, so you need to like adapt to it and live through it and yeah. control what you can control. So, sa team or means and parang feeling ko kayo gusto niyo na lang sabihin sa PBA fans like ganun kayo kasi like people like. Uh, criticize your trades, people criticize the moves of your team. So, ikaw, like, as a player there, how would you tell the fans na wala naman kayong magagawa and you're just playing the game and they should understand that? Kasi nga, they always say na, you know, bad things about your yeah. franchise. Uh, it, it's funny rin kasi sometimes they don't understand the game. They don't understand mm-hmm. that yeah. in order for a team to, we- to win, you need chemistry, you need mm-hmm. a, good, a good relationship with players, uh, coaching staff, but they don't understand that because what they see is just the scoreboard. Oh. The win and loss column, that's it. But they don't go deeper into into the game. Go deeper into the game. Like I said, um, kami, kami as a player, like, obviously, we, like, for example, for example, like, when, when we, got, when, we tra- when we lost uh, Matt Ganuelas and Roshan McCarthy. Yeah. Marang, it felt like sayang. We could have we mm-hmm. could have uh, built on that. Built on what mm-hmm. we what we achieved in the bubble and then all of a sudden uh, we lose Roshan, we lose uh, we lose what do you call Matt. this Matt Rosser. So yung chemistry na na build namin during the bubble, all of a sudden wala. So we have to start mm-hmm. from scratch. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's really not our control. Eh? We're I'm mm. I'm played to play, and I'm I'm not complaining. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm 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 still here, fortunate fortunately playing basketball. But obviously, there are what ifs. Na what if we, what if we didn't trade Roshan? What if we signed uh, Matt Rosser? Maybe maybe we could be uh, competing like how Blackwater is right now. The you see mm. you see how good they are. So, sana but but you know it is what it is. You really, I can't we can't really control that. Yeah, Ika was a fan of the NBA and as a player, are you uh, in favor of like sila Bradley Beal or sila Damian Lillard na kahit yung team nila na hihirapan mag champion and they've been there for a plethora of years na and they don't want to leave. Like si Beal, the Bayern si Lillard, they just signed an extension now. Yeah, kahit people are saying, oh why don't you chase a ring here here here. Yeah. Ika, what's your stance naman on that? Oh, I'm a Steph Curry fan, eh, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter mm, what okay. Bradley Beal or Damian Lillard uh, does, as long as Steph, what, what Steph hmm. does, that's what matters to me. That's why I'm wearing a <laughs> Steph Curry shirt. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. But but then yeah. to answer your question, hmm. I guess it's the choice, naman of the players, eh. Hmm. At the end of the day, um, what makes them happy? If yeah. if if Kevin Durant wants to get traded and that makes him happy, what can we do? It, at the mm. end of the day, it's his choice. We can't go and tell him, KD, don't, 
you're you're a snake. You always quit mm. on your team. Yeah. But okay, mm. we 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 uh we become opinionated. We we yeah. tell our side. But at the end of the day, does Kevin Durant care? I don't. I don't no. Think, I I honestly don't think he he yeah. cares about what what other people say about him. Or yeah, so, he plays yeah. around on Twitter lang with the fans. Diba yeah, exactly. Mo? Diba, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, well, ako, for me, it's nice that play the, the players have a choice. They 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 get to do well, what's good for them and their family. Mm-hmm. Kasi sa tingin ko, people are gonna say that rin with you kasi yung numbers mo hindi naman bumababa. Eh. Tapos, yung team nyo nga nagsa-struggle. So, baka sabihin yeah. ng iba... Mag-ibang team ka na lang para maka-champion ka naman. So, yeah, ako, I don't know ako, if it applies. Ako, to be honest, like like I said, it's out of my control naman eh. But if I mm. if I stick with Terra Firma throughout my career, I'm not gonna mm. complain. Kasi yeah. at the end of the day, they're one of the reasons why I'm still in the PBA. They revived mm. my career and I'm happy. And if 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 it's my way to repay them uh, to be sticking with them all throughout my career, then I'd happily do that. Yeah. But so how I about now? The... Also, but you know. Yeah. Sorry. How about now in the PBA? <laughs> how about now in the PBA? Because Blackwater, yun isap ayon kayo yung dalawa yung mga pinagtatawanan. And actually, meron ding iba like sometimes yung mga North Fort and the other yeah. teams. Pero yah, Blackwater now, de ba? They got Coach Ariel Vanguardia. He traded a couple of guys and then he reshaped the team. Na may ato ular sila ngayon na napagaling si yeah. Baby Casho, gumagaling ulit, Basera Mer and all these guys. So you does that uh, uh, help you also? Na parang ah, kahit ko lelat ka, at least you know there's always a chance that this conference it could switch again and you could be on top. So that's, does that give you like confidence also? Yeah, as a that's team. What, that's why we're ano rin, um, That's why like for me, I always look forward to each conferences. Because you don't mm-hmm. know you don't know the possibilities. You don't know what could happen. Just like yeah. with Blackwater, who who would expect them? To, to be six and two, I think they're six. They're six and two yeah. right now, or, or this, five and two. Today. Yeah, they mm. they they were they they had the longest losing longest losing streak. Yeah. Look, or, look at what they are now. So, you know, there are endless possibilities. Just just like with us during during the bubble, who would have thought we'd, we'd beat yeah. um, San Miguel and Hinebra yeah, consecutively? So mm. you know that's why I look forward to every conference and and um. And right now, out na kami, so medyo, medyo, my focus is still there to, mm-hmm. to at least try to win the last three games. But also, I look, I look forward to the next conference, um, trying to, trying to better myself. And ano ba yung mga kamal ko this, this, this uh, all Filipino? Yeah. So now, ano move forward naman tayo sa uh, yung upbringing mo, yung childhood. Like since we talked about a lot about your current. Team nine your current career, pero I'm interested also on in your upbringing and childhood. And I know na I started watching you at na I know you played there in high school and grade school. Pero maybe you could start on yeah where did you grow up? Siguro and ano yung mga ginawa mo when you were a child like basketball okay. lang talaga or may mga iba ka pang ginawa? Ako um I remember I have I have a photo of me playing basketball with a basketball made by my lolo. I was mm, probably okay. still three years old, so I guess um, already was liking basketball at a very young age. But I don't really mm. remember it because I what I recall is I started playing f- soccer, football. Okay. But I really wasn't good at it, so mm. I had to move on from football, soccer, and start playing basketball. Actually, um, I went to school, grade school in CSA. CSA Das Marines, ah, okay, okay. That's where I started. That's where I was discovered by Coach Ron Camara, who was at the time coach of Ateneo Pasaril. He was mm. the one who recruited me to play for Ateneo. Oh, okay, and then so there I started. I started playing for Ateneo. Actually, culture shock because eh, I would be able to dominate right away. Nagulat ah. ako sobrang daming magaling na mga Atenista. Like for example, sila Joel Tolentino, Mikey Reyes. Kasi at the yeah. time, di ko sila nakakalaban eh. Ang nakakalaban, uh-huh. ang nakalaban ko before si Ice Reyes, si Javid Dumbrique. So akala mm-hmm. ko yun yung magiging competition ko. And then all of a sudden, when I was trying out for Ateneo, nakalaban ko sila Joel, Mikey Reyes. Nagulat ako, gagaling rin. So I mm-hmm. thought I would I would start strong and be you know one of the star players. But it, it didn't happen that easy. 
And then yeah. from Passerel, um, I tried out for UAP Juniors for Coach Jamaik. Uh, I mm-hmm. think my first year. Um, si- similar. I was. I was. I. D- I didn't play. I didn't really get enough and much playing time. Uh, at the start of my U- UAP Juniors, because I was behind Mike Gamboa, Carlo Balmaceda, Alec Rivera. But then I just had resiliency, I guess. I just stayed focused on my game. And then next thing you know, my third year, fourth year, I won Mythical 5. And then my last year as a high school player, uh, we won the championship uh, against FU, sila Mike Tolomia, Rosales yeah. Yeah. And then uh, from high school... College, I know. Um, I wasn't, to be honest, hindi ako, ano, uh, highly recruited by Ateneo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kasi, um, after, after my UAP juniors, hindi sila agad nag-offer sa akin ng, ng spot. Spot or, mm-hmm. ng, what do you call this? Um, yung scholarship. Question, yung scholarship, yes. Hindi yeah. sila agad nag-offer ng scholarship. So, what I did was, I tried out for UP. Ah, okay. Oh, so UP muna. Actually, hindi ako nag-tryout sa atin yun. Nag-tryout ako sa UP. Uh, I, I was doing well. And then, kinukuha na nila ako. Mm-hmm. And then, nal- eh, nalaman ni Father Ben Nebres ata na nag-tryouts kami sa atin yun. Ay, sa UP, sorry. UP. UP. Tapos, mm-hmm. next thing you know, nag-offer na sila ng scholarship. <laughs> Alo, ako, si Ivan, at saka si JV Dongbik at the time. Mm-hmm. Tapos, okay. I, had, I had to... I had to fight for my spot. Nothing was actually given to me. Nothing was promised to me na Wami will give you this and you'll have a spot in the team. Actually, wala. So, I had mm-hmm. to fight for it. So, my first year, second year, third year, I was in danger actually of going down to Team B. Kasi, mm-hmm. ang dami, ang dami rin kasi rinirecruit ng Ateneo na, na guards eh. And at the time, Eman was there, Jai Reyes was there. So, parang, I was just an afterthought. Mm-hmm. So, so you know, I, for me at the time, I was just so if if team B ako, I'll work my I'll work my way uh, to the top again. But luckily, it never happened. Um, Coach Norman stuck with me, and then on on my fourth year during last Coach Norman's last uh, coaching year for Ateneo, I I he went, he gave me the starting five, and then that's where I just played my role. I wasn't mm-hmm. really looking to score. You know, I had to change my game. I had to be more of a pure point guard instead of oh, a man. instead of a scoring guard. Because if I remember correctly, my role was to make sure Kiefer. Sorry, my airplane. Okay, lang, okay, lang. Kasi kami sa airport, eh. Sorry, sorry. No way, no worries. Ha? So, um, if I remember correctly, the role ko at the time was to make sure Kiefer, Greg, and Nico Salva got their got their quota. In terms of scoring, mm-hmm. and then Coach Norman told me first to th- first to third quarter, make sure those three um, get their quota. Para in the fourth quarter, I could call my own place, which is the pick and roll where where I usually where I usually strive, and yeah. that's 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 how I got my confidence also. Tapos, yeah, that's... my fifth year we we transitioned to Coach Bo. Mm, okay. Um and you know obviously it was Coach Bo's first year so a lot Adjustment. of adjustments adjustments for mm-hmm. him for us and then we started without Kiefer pa because if if you guys remember correctly he started he started uh with an injury a uh, high ankle mm-hmm. sprain so major we started we started we started uh slow and then in the middle of the season that's when we really peaked but then it was too late. Um, it was too late to to make the final four, so if I if I if I look back, um, I'm very fortunate that I had to go through all of those because it, it built like it built me mentally and my game. Like I I understand how I'm supposed to play now, and I understand where I'm good at and where I'm not good at where I'm not good. So so you know I, it might not have been a colorful uh, college career. Or, but I'm 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 very fortunate na and blessed that I had to go through all of those, and and you know here I am now I guess with Terra Firma still in the PBA, and very lucky. Yeah, 
you, you mentioned in high school, and I really like that because see Mikey Reyes, he'd mentioned you in his channel nga na magaling ka daw sobra nung high school. So maybe you could share na ano yung mga stats mo ba nun? Ano yung style of play mo nun? And why would people, other people nga say na you were a terrific player and people don't know that because hindi naman televised yung mga juniors nun. So yeah. people don't know that you were that amazing. Uh, in high school, ano, I was, how I'm playing right now, I would I would play mm-hmm. the record. I'm off the ball uh-huh. most of the time, running off, running off balls, uh, running off handoffs, staggered screens, um, playing off my teammates. Um, that's how I, I, that's what how I am now is how I played, how I used to play in high school. And I don't, I don't remember my stats exactly, mm. you know. But what I remember is, simply memorable. It, it was, uh, it was my first um, personal achievement was to win the mythical five. At the time, and I did it during my third year and and my fourth year. So, so yeah, I guess that's <laughs> that's basically my my high school career. Yeah, and, in, in, um, yeah. Go 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 ahead. And um, we actually won two championships during my my rookie year and my final year. So I, so um, yung career ko no high school and college is night and day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask. Na as a high school player, you won championships in mythical five. And kanina you mentioned yun na hindi ka sure alang ayon yung position mo sa seniors nung first yeah. few kara seniors more seasons mo. So oh, ikaw nung ngayon ngayon kasi since mo mentally mas na accept mo na yung role mo sa terra firma and the stuff that happened in the pros. Pero nung college pa yun eh. So was that really difficult for you? Yeah, very difficult. Champre, nasana yako na the offense will go through me eh, and then all of a sudden mm. ang daming magagaling na players ang daming recruits ng Ateneo like si Ryan Buena Fe, Nico Salva mm. Justin Chua yeah. to name a few so 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 eh sila they were they were bigger taller than me and a better player than me so I I had to adjust big time I had to play the point guard position the 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 uh, where I I was a playmaker for them and not a playmaker mm. for myself, so I'm lacking adjustment. That's why I really didn't start off well because I was immature. Pay like I like I w- really wanted to score. That's where I was getting my confidence from, uh, which was scoring. So eh, I didn't I really didn't understand my game yet at that time, but you know I'm glad. Like I said, I'm glad it it happened. Yeah, how would you explain man to the people that don't really understand what uh, basketball is like? Na yung high school scorer ka parang yun, parang sila Steph yun na yeah. scorer ka. Tapos nung college mas naging pure point guard ka like a Chris Paul type or LA Tenorio. Tapos nung ngayon sa terra firma naman scorer ulit. So yeah. how would you tell the people na yung adjust, adjustment na yun and yung transition period na? I don't, I, I think it's pretty difficult. Ako, um, I guess um, yeah, yeah. Ako, for example, I just work on my game. Mm. Uh, I what I've been doing since I was in college, I I'm still doing now. Cause that's that's what's working for me. That's what's working for me. So, so I just kept working on my game, on, on my game shots, and then and then when I got into the pro, um, I would I would I would watch my games. Eh? I would always watch my games, see where I'm good at, where I'm not, where I'm not good. So as much as possible. During the games, that's where that's what I try to avoid, where my weaknesses mm-hmm. are, and then during the off season, that's what I work on. And when and when I work, my workouts my workouts would always be game shots all 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 the time. Like, mm-hmm. ako naman kasi hindi naman ako yung type na player na madribble na macross over. Eh, kasi it's not really my game. It's not really it's not really one of my strengths. So my game usually one dribble, two dribbles, three dribbles. That's it. And then ball screen read read. Read what the defense is doing. Read the, what the big man is doing. Is he showing hard? Mm-hmm. Is he um, Drop. Uh, shadowing? So, uh-huh. so that's what I would always do uh, on my work uh, during my workouts. Is my reads? What I would do if they hard show? What would they? What would I do if they trap me? What would I do if if they're collapsing? That's why mm-hmm. I dur- the pros. I really work on my mid range because. Um, I'm not really very athletic. I'm not really the fastest. That's why I have a hard time as have a hard time finishing under the basket. Because I don't have legs. Ko talaga, I'm not. I'm not blessed. Eh. <laughs> so that's why I really work on my floaters, my my mid range, 
And then, actually, yung, yung three-pointer ko nga, ano, hindi naman talaga ako very confident with my three-point shot before, eh, to be honest. Ah, okay. You. To be honest, like, I, I'm more of a mid-range guy. Mm-hmm. And then, I guess I built my confidence lang during the bubble na, uy, kaya ko pala mag-9 three-pointers in a game. Like, I've never done it, mm-hmm. I've never done it mm-hmm. before, uh, even in Sunday balls or mga mm-hmm. dito, dito sa, sa village namin, never ko nagawa. So, from there, I guess, dun ko na-build yung confidence ko uh, in terms of my three-point shooting. So, now, I've been, now, I'm really constantly working on my three-point shots. Just not off of of creation from my teammates but also of dribbles of pick and rolls of step back so that's what that's what I've been doing right now yeah yung college nga you mentioned that it flipped the switch yung mga fourth year kaya ta nung naging starter ka na yeah so why what would you say um get coach norman gave you why would you say coach norman gave you that spot or that, that confidence and trust because uh, was there like a preseason game was there a practice that you impressed him consistently and yan yung mga evolution of your game bar development papakita mo sa kanya kaya sabi niya kaya naman ni Wami maging starter pala ako i guess it's uh, for me uh, he never really he never really told me naman or said anything i guess ako me personally i guess it's the patience i was mm-hmm. patient all throughout the the process of not playing just watching my teammates just cheering on my teammates i guess i guess he he gave me a chance he really didn't see any. I don't. I don't know if he really saw anything special because I never really did anything special um, before my fourth year. So mm. I guess it was just the patience and then trust and then him trusting me. Mm. How about with Ateneo? You mentioned that um, star studded your team and you adjusted your role. Na kung yung parang um, kailangan nilang kind of player because there are many scores so like kumare Brooklyn, de ba? Like inad lang nila lahat ng talented players, pero they're not winning. So how would you say Coach Norman or the coaching staff or your teammates made you guys a formidable team? Like kahit, I don't know, but sometimes it's hard pag lahat ng talent is sa bak mo sa isang yeah. team. Pero kayo, you guys won a five team. I know you're you were part of like two of those, right? How many of that were you? Part? Uh, I had four, four of those. Ah, uh, four, yeah. So yeah. yeah. So with but, Coach but, Norman, but, but, kasi every every start of the every Every before the start of the UAP season, he would tell us our roles, and he doesn't mm-hmm. want us to go beyond our roles. Because that the because it's ano ne, it's planned out na for him. Eh. He's been planning that out even before the summer league started. Na mm-hmm. oh, wami, ito ka, you, you have to make sure busog teammates mo. Ito Keith, you're you're our you're our priority. Greg, Greg, you're the priority. So he's he already planned out our roles. So if you don't do your role, if you're not the, if you if you don't become a star in your role, then I guess you, you don't get to play. Eh, kami, of course. I, ako personally, I want to play, so I have to, I have to accept my role, even even if I also want to score. Because if mm. not, I I sit on the bench. I sit beside Coach Norman. Yeah. So, so I guess yeah. I guess that's what's nice about Coach Norman is he tells you your role already. It's it's up to you if you accept it or not. If you don't, then sorry, na lang, I guess, <laughs> de ba? Hmm. It sounds easy, but then not all the coaches nga do that. So I guess that's yeah. one ingredient you'd say na successful kayo that you guys won a five yeah. feet and you were there for four of it, pala. Yeah. So, What's nice also yeah. is everyone accepted the role. Like no one, hmm. no one really um, went against their went against Coach Norman. Hmm. Yeah. That's that, yeah. I guess that's why. Still, it's still talaga kayo. Yeah. It's talaga kayo na. Nigel, di talaga kayo natalo, iba-iba na yung kalaban niyo nung finals and oh, any of them. talaga namin role namin kahit kahit yeah. like ako personally, hindi naman talaga ako pure, the pure point guard but obviously I have to accept it. Also not not only because I want to play but also because we want to win, diba? Ah, I mm. want to win also win a, win a championship. Yeah. How about your path naman to becoming a PBA draft? How was that like after your final year? Was it like automatic for you na talagang didiretso na ako ng PBA and put my name on the list? Actually, no eh. Kasi parang yung stock ko at that time, it was, I wasn't really talked about kasi I really don't, like I said, I really don't do anything special naman in my college career in, uh, mm. in order for the media or the people to talk about me. So, honestly, I was deciding whether I should make it, I should join the draft or look for a ABL team. Uh, ah, okay. At the time kasi may ABL eh, and I wanted yeah, yeah. to do ABL just to 
just to get exposure and hope and you know um hopefully uh to bring up my stock to you know the for the next draft but but then at the time I was trying out for Blackwater and at the time Blackwater was applying to mm. to to join yeah. the PDA yeah so eh during the tryout I was doing really well and then next thing you know sabi nila na ito draft nila ako so that's when I decided to join the draft nung nagsabi sila na ito draft nila ako mm. but then there at the start I I had a lot of questions whether I should join the draft or not Yeah. Buti nga, they actually followed it. I'm pretty sure you know na sa mga NBA teams may mga nasha-share na sinasabi nila na, oh, I'll draft you or ganyan. Yeah, <laughs> mag-draft yun nga, na, yun nga. Kasi, na siya. actually, kung di nila sinabi yun, baka, mag, baka mag-back out ako eh. Kasi, mm. kasi parang feel ko, if if you don't get drafted, your chances of, you know, getting back, uh, making it to the PBA are, are slimmer. It dwindles. Eh. Yeah, it dwindles eh. Mm. So, Yeah, you mentioned the uh, Blackwater stint, and you were there for a couple of years, and it was tough for you. Now you mentioned in an article that I read, na medyo crowded yung guards nung team na yon. So how was it like? How was that tenure like for you, fighting for a spot with like what several point guards or guards that play the yeah. same role as you? Actually, um, uh, during my first three years, I actually my first two years pala with Blackwater, I lost, I lost my passion mm-hmm. for basketball. Ah, parang okay. I was actually thinking of doing something else already. Kasi parang, you know, I didn't really get the opportunity. I really, really didn't get any break. I barely barely played. Tapos, I played more D-League games than PBA games at the time. Parang mm. binaba nila ako sa D-League. And, you know, when I look back, parang I remember I would, I would blame a lot of people. I would blame this guy, blame this person. But... But the truth is, what who I forgot to blame is myself. Because mm-hmm. to be honest, I wasn't mentally ready uh, to be in the PBA. Parang feel ko kasi I would go to the PBA games. Parang I I would I was doubting myself na PBA. Parang kaya ko ba? Mm-hmm. De ba parang kaya ko ba? So so when I look back, to be honest, it's actually my fault. And mm-hmm. and I guess I had to go through. I had to go through all of those in order for me to be mentally tough. Because I had to go to the D League, and then reserve ako ng Blackwater, and then go back to the D League again. And the next thing you know, uh, binayout na nila ako. Eh. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, they mm. binayout nila ako uh, after my second year. Mm. Tapos af- after that, when they bought me out, I was I was questioning myself whether I should still play basketball. Because because parang iniisip ko na parang mag basketball pa kaya ako parang di naman ako mahal ng basketball eh. mm. so it was actually my mom who told me na oh mommy one last try one last chance if you mm. if you do well in the D league mag D league ka mag tryouts ka um if 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 kunin ka if kunin ka then then good for me if not so yeah. do whatever you want do whatever yeah. you want so it was really my mom who was pushing me encouraging me to to give it one more chance and So I'm very thankful for my mom. Thankful, thankful, uh, na she encouraged me, pushed me, and I wouldn't be here without her. Going back to your answer, I really like liked it now that you got that opportunity. Because some people they feel that they have they don't they don't have hope anymore. And yeah, yeah, you weren't in a great situation with all these guards. And siguro rin yung standing yung team and your performance na ha na ha affect din sa yon ng time na yon yung kaso. Your mentality. But moving on to the D League, like what jump started it? Na parang you gained more confidence and you trusted in your mom nga that she told you to try it, and you know, it yeah. it was fulfilled, and you gave you got um, the chance. Actually, to be honest, that was the most fun I've I've had playing basketball. Because I was playing with no pressure. I was I was just enjoying myself, and I re- if I remember correctly, I would always. Before every game, I would always pray. Like, um, the line would be, "Lord, if this is my last game, uh, let me let it be the best game of my life." Yeah. That that was always my prayer before every game, and so I was just having fun, not really looking looking uh, on making making it back to the PBA. It was just here I am, just playing my game again, playing playing mm. alongside Jerontang at the time we were in AMA. Ah, uh, sa AMA. 
Yeah, AMA. Uh-huh. So I was just having the best time of my life. I was playing my game. Uh, no pressure. No one was telling me what to do. Mm-hmm. And to be and actually, my best game uh, was was against San Beda. At the time who eventually won the champ the championship. Championship. Sila, oh. sila Robert Bolikyon, Perkins, uh-huh. JV Mokon, and we beat them. We we uh, we made us uh. Nag, uh, nag-upset kasi no one mm-hmm. was expecting us to beat them to be honest kasi AMA usually the but they're not really competing competing uh, in the playoffs so we 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 beat them and then and then from there I just had the best time of my life playing basketball again diba? what I lost mm-hmm. I, I gained in the D-League and next thing you know I was I, I got a text message from Boss Ronald Dolatre from NMEX Na oh, asking okay. me, asking me if if I if I could try out for the team, but not 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 no no commitments, just tryouts lang. And if I do well, then I probably then they'll probably sign me. Mm-hmm. So, so yung pang tryout mo, no? like hindi naman sabay yung season, so hindi naka conflict. Ade off, sa, actually sabay sabay sa D League, pero off season oh. ng at the time. So while after. Before actually would practice and then play in the afternoon for AMA. That's oh, okay. that's how it was. That's how. Um, also, I I got in shape nare eh, because I was playing yeah. twice a day, diba? uh-huh. No complaints. Why why would I why would I wanna miss the opportunity of trying out uh for for NLEX? Um, because that's you know man you said in mom ko, if if I get another chance then then good for me. Mm-hmm. And and I and I was able through God's grace I was able to to get it. Yeah, nung NLEX ba nung nagte try out ka like ilan ba kayo noon and how many spots were you vying for that you eventually made it and you got a spot? Um if if I remember correctly, I was the only one trying out. Ako ah, okay. lang, ako lang ata pina pinapa try out nila. Um at the time they had Kiefer, Carlo Lastimosa, Eric Camson, Evan mm-hmm. Monfort. And we would we would play um, practice games. Tapos we the first our my our our first practice game was against Kia and I did do so well. Parang sabi ko, ito na naman. Parang mm-hmm. ito na yung opportunity ko hindi ko na naman na uh, maximize. Um, so coming into the second practice game, it was against Trainer Shine. Talagang nagfocus ako. I treated it like uh, a PBA game, like a playoff mm-hmm. game. Like I came in there locked in, uh, with a lot of focus, trying to prove myself, and I was fortunate enough that I did well. And then from there, I was able to build my confidence going into, uh, the season. So they they signed me for one conference, I think. Yeah, the style of any coach Yang, wherein, for instance, today zero minutes or zero seconds, as next game, you can put it on twenty-five. Yeah, oh. exactly. How was that for you? Enjoy ka oh, ba doon sa gano'n? Sobrang enjoy ako kasi kahit, kahit gano'n kasama yung laro mo in the previous game, he would start you the next game. Hmm. The, pero, pero if he gives you the, that opportunity, if, if he gives you that chance, you have to maximize it. You have to really produce. Yeah, kasi yeah. Um, alam ko, parang two of the things he hates the most is um, hindi nag-iisip at saka walang effort maglaro. Yeah. So... Um, so dun dun na lang ako nag nag base sa laro ko na I have to give my maximum maximum effort and I have to be I have to be uh have to have an I- high IQ when when playing for coaching so that's why I'm very very grateful for coaching and the NX organization kasi sila I mean sila talaga yung nag pick up sa akin eh wala naman talaga yung nagbibigay sa akin ng opportunity even though I was doing really well in the D League sila yung nag-pick up sa akin na nagbigay ng chance sa akin na na makabalik sa PBA. Yeah, do you think Coach Yen has that magic? Like, you know naman na he gets players na kala nila patapos na yung career nila yeah, or wala yeah. na silang team. Tapos pag kinuha niya, whether NLEX or Rain or Shine, biglang magiging core player ng team, yeah. magiging oh, rotational yes. piece. Paano niya kaya nagagawa yun? Like, for you, who endured that? Like, he also had that with uh, Jairay Ibanez and all these other guys, sila JR Kinyahan, di ba? Um, he elicits spirit. Matatawad ka sa kanya eh. So, so ikaw, kung, 
kung hindi mo laruin yung laro mo, kung ka, patamad-tamad ka dyan or hindi ka nag-iisip sa court, sisigawan ka niya. Sisigawan hmm. ka niya sa harap ng family mo. So, ikaw, ma- mapapaya ka. So, ayaw mo na umabot sa, ma- umabot na masigawan ka pa ni coaching. So, if, if, yeah. if ilan minutes ka lang maglaro, whether it's five minutes or twenty minutes, bigay mo lang yung gusto niya. Kasi hindi naman siya nag, he, he won't ask um, a lot from you eh. You, alam, alam lang naman niya yung kaya mo eh. Mm. So, you, bigay mo na lang yung kaya mo. And I guess, yun yung magic ni Coach Shane, yung fear. Fear na matatakot ka sa kanya. So, that's why you have to give your best all the time. Mm. Nung pinagalitan ka niya, like, yung talagang, na, na, yung pinaka, like, uh, extravagant na time na pinagalitan ka niya, ano yung nagawa mo nun? And ano yung ginawa niya rin sa'yo na natakot Ako ka yung, or, like, nagulat ka? Naalala ko yung naglalaro kami sa Macau kalaban namin at uh, ta- Taiwan team. Libre na so libre na ako sa corner ganun na ng ng create ng playmaking ng teammate ko kasi hindi ko tinira pinasa ko pa sinagawan niya ako na mommy puro ka pa cute Sabi niya sa akin so lahat so every time down the floor every time libre ako tinira ko na na tinira Pumasok ba Um half yung half ng shot ko pumasok <laughs> Yung may <laughs> EASL or ano ba yun? Anong tournament yung oh, EASL? EASL? I think yun yung start ng EASL. Kami kami yung one of the first teams who participated. Ah, okay. Yeah, Coach Yang has those iconic lines, di ba? Yeah. Oh, Naalala ko pa, during the game, sabi niya sa akin, during the game, ha? Next game, reserve ka. <laughs> sabi niya sa akin yun, so ako parang, shit, reserve ako. <laughs> Pero the next game, starting five ako. Joke lang yun. <laughs> Hindi, parang inaano ko lang niya, minamotivate ka niya, he will, hmm. he will test you. He will test your mental toughness. That's, kaya dun rin ako, that's why I'm high on mental toughness rin kasi galing ako kay coaching. Kasi if you don't have that when playing for coaching, ma, ano kayo, baba, bababa kumpiyansa mo eh, baba, bababa laro mo eh. Yeah, tsaka yung formula ni coaching to winning then or yung way of motivation, walang parang formula talaga or like, susundin mo na point blank. Like, I guess he yeah. does it based on the situation or kung sino yeah. yung kausap niyang tao, iba yung pag-approach niya, di ba? Ganun siguro yung style niya. Pero yung, Wait, yung sorry, time sorry. na yun, di ba? Yeah, sige, go ahead. No, no, no. no, 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 no sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. Yung part, yung part na na-feeling ko, nahirapan ka din ulit since even if you were high in mental toughness, na-trade ka, di ba, sa uh, North Port, tapos wala pang yeah. ilang days or something, na-trade ka kaagad sa Terra Firma. So, yeah. ikaw, hindi ba mahirap yun na parang Saan saan ang move? Hindi ko na alam. Actually, ano ko noon, parang, parang nagulat ako kasi when NX traded me, um, expiring ako at the time. Mm. Eh, wala akong contract when they traded me to Northport. So, I was hoping ma- makasign ako sa Northport. But, nagpractice lang ako for three days and then next thing I know, wala, wala nagsabi sa akin. Nabasa ko lang sa article na na na-trade ako. Oh, okay. O, so, nagulat ako sa na na-trade ako sa Colombian Jeep at, at at the time nung na-trade yeah. ako from Northport to Colombian. So, tinawagan ko si Boss Ronald Dulatre. Boss Ronald, ano, um, alam niyo po ba na matitrade ulit ako? Kasi, di ba, mm-hmm. boss, sabi niyo po sa akin na makakasign ako sa Northport. Eh, mm-hmm. siya, di rin, di, rin, di rin niya alam na ganun nga mangyayari. So, tinawagan niya rin yung Northport. But, you know, it is what it is. It, ha- it happened that way for a reason. And and uh, luckily naka naka sign rin ako for sa Colombian Jeep for a year so I had I had three conferences to to prove myself again and yeah and yeah, that was so tough like I imagine if you're a player nga na paharating mo palang oh hey new teammates new team new coach ganyan tapos biglang wala ka na kagad after oh, half a week kasi parang kasi syempre comfortable comfortable na ako sa NLEX eh and then na trade mm-hmm. ako sa Northport so I was trying to get comfortable again, trying to mm-hmm. get to know my teammates, build build new relationships. Eh, as as I was getting comfortable now, on the third day, next thing I know, na trade na naman ako parang mm-hmm. shocks. Ano na naman? Meet new people. Mm-hmm. Eh, ako ako kasi ma, ma, ano to be honest, mahiyain ako. Eh. Hindi ako hindi talaga ako um, social butterfly eh, for lack mm-hmm. of better term. Hindi talaga ako ma masalita like. Uh, Ma, you you will only get to know me if comfortable ako sa iyo. Mm. Parang parang ganoon ako na tao. So, parang may mahirap ako, mahirap para sa akin na getting to know new people kasi may, like I said, mahihiyain nga ako. Yeah. 
So, yun nga, nung uh, time na yun, you found out through an article, and I'm pretty sure a lot of players also, ganun din nila nalalaman na they weren't signed or they weren't traded. So, ikaw, ano yung comment mo na yun na, ngayon, since rampant na yung social media and internet, ganun na, eh, dati, wala namang ganun-ganun eh. So, yeah. now, may mga sa speed or sa tiebreaker mo nalang nalalaman. So, ikaw, as a player, as an athlete, what's your oh, yeah, stance and other your opinion on that? Sorry, sorry. What's the what's the question again? Sorry. Yung sa spin or tiebreaker times, the right? players. That's where they sometimes find out where you get traded, dalang or not signed, or there are movements at team mo. Like yeah. you don't fa- find it through face to face or Zoom interviews. Yeah. So what's your opinion on that? Because now lang yun na social media and technology yeah. is like in ano rampant. Uh, I guess ano lang. Siguro for me, ako I can only speak for myself. Uh, yeah. Siguro at the time when I when I got traded, nung nabasa ko sa article. I'm pretty sure naman Northport had plans on telling me. Siguro na una lang talaga yung article. Mm-hmm. Kasi uh, if I remember correctly, the next the very next day or I'm not sure if the same night when I read the article or the next day tinawagan ako ni ni what's his name? Si sorry ah. Sir yeah, Eric Sariola. No, no, no. Hindi, hindi si Sir Eric. Huh? Si wait lang. Sorry, sorry. Let me search his name. Ah, <laughs> si Boss Bonnie, Boss Bonnie Tan. Ah, okay. Who I'm still who I'm still very close to, si Boss Bonnie. Tinawagan niya ako the next the next day na, Wami, sorry, na trinade ka namin. Na, we, di, wala naman talaga sa plans namin, matrade ka. So mm. forth. Ganun. So, so, ako naman, parang, no hard feelings. If nabasa ko sa article, or sinabi sa akin personally, whichever comes first, ganun, at the end of the day, ganun pa rin, matitrade pa rin naman ako eh. Nothing, mm. nothing will change eh. At least, at least, Um, they they were still very professional to tell me, even though nalaman ko na sa article. So, well, at, at the end, di ganon talaga, eh. ganon talaga. Mm-hmm. So can really can I can't complain, kasi mm-hmm. kasi blessing in disguise pa nga actually. Yeah. How about with Colombian Jeep? Like you mentioned, that's your new squad. And what was your role when you got there? Because I remember lang ano ng bubble ng Terra Firma na and you yeah. were playing well. So, ikaw, ano ba yung adjustment period mo? Like, mabilis ba siya? Smooth flow mo siya dahil kay sa coaches and sa teammates mo? How was it for you? Actually, for some reason, when I was traded to Colombian Jeep, yung confidence ko nandun. Parang feel ko, kaya, kaya kong, kaya ko laro yung laro ko. But at the time, I was, ano lang, the backup point guard. At the time, mm. point guard pa yung position ko. I was the backup point guard for Calvo. And okay. there were times pa nga na ako yung last guard coming off the bench. Eh. Oh. Like there are a lot of guards that would come in come in uh before me. So and you know, just just like with just like with every situation I've been in, um I just take take it for what it is. And then if given the chance, given the opportunity, the I'll grab it, 'di ba? If I make if I make mm. a mistake, I'll just move on. Because I've I've learned from coach coaching as well. You know, pag magkamali ka, you can't dwell on it. You can't. Uh, you have to have a shorter memory and move on. Because if you dwell on it and then commit the same mistake, na ko sa si sigawang ani coaching. So, dun I guess dun ko nare na na adapt yung yung mentality ni coach na mentality na na parang tinatry na i ilagay sa amin ni coaching. Ah, uh, okay. That's really great. Na hanggang kahit wala ka na sa NLEX, you know, yung mindset mo, yung, yun nga, mentality mo na sa'yo pa rin, kahit yeah, iba ka ng uh, team. And, you know, it's really uh, flourishing for you now that you've got, uh, I mean, I wasn't surprised that nanalo ka by a landslide dun sa most improved player. So I wanted to talk to you about that, how much that award meant to you. I mean, I know you also care about your team and your coaches and your organization, but yung most improved, like, sa'yo talaga ha? Deserving, guy, and deserving, mo talaga. So, na expect mo ba yon or how was it like when you received it? To be honest, at at the very start, naman parang iniisip ko when I got back to the PBA was never to win a personal award. It was just mm-hmm. to have a successful career, to to prolong my career and and see what happens from there. I never really imagined or dreamt of of winning anything. To be honest with you, when I got back to the PBA, so. And then when I when I went to Terra Firma, um, my stats were going up. My my level of play was going up. I it still didn't really cross my mind na I would I would be part of the most improved. Because parang feel ko feel ko parang you have 
you have to have a name eh. and for me parang I, I was still nobody like be, uh, I, like people barely really talk about me hmm. and so I really wasn't expecting anything and then when I saw the list nakita ko si Scotty si Robert Bolick parang si Kid Montalbo and Aaron parang feel ko at the time to be honest I'm not even trying to be humble or anything yeah. parang hindi ko inexpect na manalo kasi I'm, I was going up against Scotty Thompson and Robert Bolick Yeah. Diba, two two of the faces of the PBA, two of the two of the best guards in the PBA right now, and then so hindi ko talaga inexpect. I when uh, I came into the awarding ceremony not expecting anything to be honest. Mm-hmm. Then, nagulat na lang ako na, na nanalo ako, and mm-hmm. and just in my just like in my previous um uh interviews, I always give credit to my teammates and coaches because sila naman talaga yung reason eh. Nagtiwala sila sa akin. And yung, what my job was to just to produce. And yun, I was very, very, na fortunate enough na fortunate enough to win to win the award. Ako kasi like personally then kahit akala mo big name si Bolik or si Scotty, like for me pag most improved like I don't give it to people who you think like ganun na caliber of players then like yeah. that's just me like sa NBA si Morant yung nanalo I disagree I mean I know he's good yeah, now so see, exactly diba? parang, you know? parang si yeah. Jamorant you would expect him not to win the award kasi he's already Jamorant hmm. he should be uh, in the MV, MVP race at least and then and then we find out na he wins the most improved so that's one of the reasons also I didn't really I didn't really uh, high, had high expectations Yeah, ako, I don't like how the NBA did it. So both in PBA they got it right. Because for me, like si Aaron or ikaw, I mean that's what I thought. I mean si Aaron din kasi na interview ko na before twice the rin. Pero like, oh, okay. I thought you guys were gonna get the award talaga. So I think it's well deserved naman that. It's also a, a you, good you. thing that you dedicated it to your mom then and of course your coaches kasi super important din sila in your growth and development. So yeah, sana magtuloy-tuloy din 'yon. Pero ikaw ano yung mga aspects of your game that you think you could enhance pa. Like, I checked the stats kasi kanina. Like, I saw na baka pwede pa tumaas yung field goal percentage mo. Yeah, yeah. The, like, in the low 40s or yung yeah. assists mo. So, ikaw, ano sa tingin mo? The, actually, you, you, you already said it. Now, oh, okay. na parang, I, um, I don't know how to say, parang one of the, one of the focus on defenses na is me. Parang, mm, most of the time, yeah. they're trapping me, they're, they're not, helping off of me na mm. I sorry <laughs> dito yung mga Okay lang okay lang. Um, parang now I have to to I guess improve my improve uh, my bag. Mm. To be able to create for myself and not yeah. rely too much on on I guess of course at the end of the day still have to rely on plays but there are times na mm. the defense the defense know, knows the play na and you'll have to adjust um mm. individually and that's that's what I, I guess I have to improve on this coming off season also have to be a better playmaker for my for my team kasi right now parang coming into games parang feel ko i still have that chip on my shoulder chip on my shoulder trying to trying to prove na trying to prove something eh. and that 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 there are times i would force my shots that's why my my percentage is low my assist is low i guess it it all um boils down to that i guess Yeah, I I have a feeling that when you'll be able to do it, it'll just take, you know, time and you will forget it. Like in the off season after this conference, and yes. you'll have more time. And it's back to the three conference format, right? So you have yeah, more conference yeah. this, this year. My import na so my mm, big man. I think big man. Feeling ko big man ko hunin yung kasi mas yun yeah, yung position. Sana, big man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kasi kung guard naman, hindi naman ako magkalaro. Oh, I understand. I understand. Pero knowing Terra here, ma. Madalas naman big man yung kinukuha niyo. Yeah, like kasi may import niyo na magaling yung last last time. Si Antonio Hester. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. He was a like big man pero I mean laro niya big man pero hindi siya ganoon katangkad. Yeah. Hindi yeah. siya hindi siya matangkad but he he would dominate the paint all the time. Mm. Mm-hmm. So yun, thank you so much again Wami for joining me here in my podcast. Pero before you go, I have like standard questions that I ask my guests before they go. So one of it is For sure, you know you watch the NBA. But the players are more vocal now with the social and political issues. Like recently, see Brittany Griner, the right? like she had her issues with Russia. It's no bubble. They had the Black Lives Matter. You know, like George Floyd, okay, Breonna Taylor. Like they were more vocal with the 
ano din, presidential elections. Yeah. Hindi naman like who they're voting for, pero more of educating them on what the platform is of these candidates. And here, nakita ko rin na nag-improve nung 2022 elections. Ta. May yung iba, sinasabi talaga kung sino yung babotoy nila. Yeah. Yung iba, mas nag-inform lang. Or, kasi may platform kayo as athletes and sports personalities. So ikaw, as a PBA player nga, or as a sports personality, do you think that athletes should you know, continue doing that na using amplifying their voice and using uh, social media or media as a platform to educate these Filipinos on social and political issues? Oh, yes, of course. Um, mm. People people look, look up to the to these athletes just like yeah. how we look up to uh, NBA players or NFL players. But but also, at the end of the day, you have to be responsible with what, with what you put out uh, in the mm. social media because because sometimes kasi they're Sometimes I would see I would see athletes um, going off issue, eh. yeah, and and parang hindi nakakatulong sa society. Mm. And I guess I guess for me it's good that we we have that platform, we have social media to to speak our minds, speak our opinions, but also we also have to res- to be responsible uh, on what we say, on on what we what we uh, share on social media, because. Because there are kids who also look up to us. Eh? Yeah, for sure. And you don't know. You don't know. Mm-hmm. You don't know um, who who's watching or mm-hmm. who's reading your tweet or what 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 they see on on your post. Because sometimes it it easily could be misinterpreted. Eh? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And... for me, it's good that we we get to voice out our opinion, but but also have to be responsible with with what we put out. Mm, yeah, for sure. And maray mo, diba? Like, mali pala yung nilagay mo, tas malinawa yeah, lang nila. It makes yeah, it worse. Or ma-misinterpret lang, diba? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, I agree with what your, with your point. And hopefully, mapakinggan ng mga tao and makinig din sila. And yeah, for the next question naman, if you had the opportunity to have dinner with five people, dead or alive, sino yeah. iimbitahin mo dun sa dinner? Um, first, my, my, my lolo, you, who mm. I call dad. Um, yeah. Who passed away when I was still young, so it it'd be a great oh. opportunity to to be able to talk to him, have a conversation with him. Um, next would be Steph Curry, mm. um, Kobe Bryant, of course. Um, who else? Blah, blah. Kuya L. A. Tenorio, who 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 mm. I've always looked up to. Uh, and the fifth one would probably be. Um, sino ba? Sorry. Um, Go down. Any. Sorry. Let me think. Let me think. Um, man, that's a tough one. I really um, wasn't expecting this question. Uh, I guess si ano na lang, si Coach Jamai, my first, my mm-hmm. first high school coach. Yeah, that's a great list. Great list. So for the final question, you know, naman that I invite these athletes and sports personalities, you guys, through social social media or email lang, kasi. Well, I'm just trying this out na podcast. Like, wala pa ako masyadong kakilala sa industry. So, ikaw, sino masasuggest mo pwede kong imbitahin dito sa podcast that would have a great um, story? I guess, uh, si, for me, Nico Elorde. At least, mm, okay. parang to give him exposure also. Kasi I know, I know na he still can play in the PBA. Yeah. It's just that, I guess, so, I guess sobrang loaded lang ng, ng teams right now. And it'd be great to hear from him hear what mm-hmm. he has to say also also to know what he's doing para maybe may may nakikinig na PBA team diyan and then yeah may magustuhan yung sinasabi niya and then give gives him the opportunity to try out or even sign sign a contract so i guess it's si, si Nico. yeah so yun thank you so much again wami and do you have thank any you. final message naman before uh, we i just want to say of course to you thank you thank you very much for the opportunity the exposure um and mm-hmm. i always i always uh like telling my story and hopefully may may inspire and may makuha yeah. sila out from out of this um uh, this podcast so thank you thank you Diego and hopefully you can invite me again yeah of course of course and before you go is it okay if we take a picture sure okay sige i'll take it from here One, two, three. ayon and so thank you so much wami you. for joining thank me here so on my podcast and thank you